astrology a look inside and you guys i had to just stop everything i had to stop everything i was doing and come and make this this live video why why because I am the astrologer that predicted that Donald Trump would be indicted at least two years ago, maybe three years ago, maybe four years ago. And I'm, I don't know if I'm happy or sad or if I'm mad or glad or, it feels weird, it feels surreal, okay? It feels surreal. But let's all be honest, he earned it. This is something this man earned. Um, but I wanted to come and talk about this because I'm an astrologer and because I predicted it and because I know why he got indicted as an astrologer. Okay. I had to come and talk about it. Like I'm, I'm itching to talk about this. Okay. So I don't know if you know this, but Donald Trump is a Gemini. Okay. He's not only a Gemini, he's a Gemini with Gemini rising or, or can't, it, it's got, um, I think Leo and I, I think his Gemini falls in the 12th house. I've pulled up his chart before. And what amazed me was that he had, um, these planets like Pluto and Mars and things with his son in the 12th house. Okay. So I knew, first of all, that, you know, America is a cancer country. And I have written about this. I have a blog. Go check my blogs. Go check my podcast. America is a cancer country. That means Gemini naturally falls in the 12th house or the house of hidden enemies. That's what the 12th house is. House of self undoing, house of hidden enemies. And so Gemini is naturally there. You know, we had trouble when Bill Clinton was in office. I don't know if you're old enough to remember. He too was a Gemini. He too was not Pete. That's because they're natural enemies of the country. I don't understand. People, I don't know if you get how astrology works, okay? But this is a natural enemy of the country. And it actually physically came out in reality January 6th. Like he literally tried to pull a coup. Um... We've never seen that before, right? That was a that was a first timer. But then there was all of this backlash and this protecting of him over the last few years about what happened. And as though it didn't never happened or we couldn't believe our eyes or what we saw happen on TV never happened. Even Mike Pence, even though they were going to burn him or hang him in effigy, does did anyone watch January 6th? Where they had the, like, the, um, had set it up to, to hang him publicly in front of the Capitol. I have never forgotten that, okay? But even Mike Pence hit psh, mouth quiet. The only one who's been singing like a canary is, um, his ex-lawyer, okay? <laughs> Who is hilarious to listen to. Oh my gosh. So, I'm not sure exactly what the indictment is, but I'm telling you, He's about to get indicted also on rape charges. There's a, a rape charge against him as well. And that is moving forward as well. When I'm telling you that they have stacked the charges, man, it's not just January 6th, you guys. If you think it's just January 6th, you're fooling yourself. There's the, um, there's the Georgia thing. There's two different rape cases, two don't forget the man used to run like the, the um, uh, what is it, the, uh, Miss USA, Miss America or whatever. And he was touching. This is the grab him by the PU guy. People forget that Trump is that guy. He we, we caught him on tape saying, just grab him by the P, right? So this guy now is also going to be facing some things for that. Now, I'm not sure. I think this indictment might be on tax evasion. Lord, it's so deep. <laughs> The criminal behavior is so deep that I can't even accurately report on it because it just, it's like pages deep. Now, the sickest thing is that his, his supporters are in mourning and all I can do is 
just tell them, go see a psychologist. You're going to have to get on off the Kool-Aid you've been drinking for the last four to six years. I don't know what kind of Kool-Aid you've been on, but you got to get off it now because your guy is indicted. And I don't think he's going to be able to run for president by the time they're done with him. I really want you guys to know that. And the sad part for anyone who's a Republican is he is your leading candidate. <laughs> Please, you guys need to fix that ASAP. You do not want this guy being your candidate, okay? I, I don't know why you guys have not been fixing that all along. But you need to go back, you know, go back, check it, and recheck it, and get somebody else in there that's going to be able to actually win something for you guys. Because this guy is not going to be that guy. On top of everything, did, has anyone been listening to what Donald under duress has been saying over the last week? This man, I heard him say something about, about Putin. And because, you know, he's friends with Putin. And he's like, oh, yeah, good guy. He's going to take over or whatever. And I'm thinking, traitorous stuff. I mean, I don't know if it's dementia. I don't know, but traitorous stuff. This may be the first ex-president in U.S. history to not only have been impeached, I think it was twice, but I think he's going to be convicted as a traitor. Not just for January 6th, but just all the things he's been doing along the way while they've been investigating January 6th. Like, First of all, has anyone even talked about the fact that the man took government documents to his home and then lied about it? The man who says he's good friends with Putin. Putin, they got an award, arrest warrant out for Putin right now. This, this is the... Okay, let me get myself together. So let me tell you what the, the astrological reason why it all came out now. In case you were wondering, as I mentioned, he's a Gemini. He had other planets in Gemini. All that Gemini is in the 12th house of self-undoing. That's why he keeps undoing himself this way. Saturn, the great restrictor, the taskmaster, the, the planet that calls you to task for what you have done. It has just entered into Pisces. And Pisces squares Gemini. Anything that man has from zero to 10 degrees of Gemini is being squared. And I think it might be him. And so as a result, we're seeing the result of that. Saturn is not going to let him alone. I, I hope y'all guys understand. This guy is going down for real. And I don't think we've ever seen a president go down to this level of where he's about to go. We've never seen this in our lifetime. So pay attention, whether you like him, hate him, dislike him, believe him, I don't know, everybody's different. Pay attention to what's about to go down because this guy is about to have to pay for his debts. That's what Saturn does. It, it's the great, you, you know, the task, it makes you pay for what you've done. And he's going to have to pay now for what he's done. I hope he survives it. I'm not sure he will. And why is that? Go ahead and say, Adrian, why do you think that Capricorn Tigers? Well, because Pluto has gone into Aquarius. And as I said, the man has Leo rising, early degrees of Leo. That means Pluto is opposing his rising sign. Pluto is opposing his physical self. He is not going to win. He is going to go under. The power is against him. He's in a deep square with Saturn, which he's never going to get out because he's dug himself too deep. But now Pluto is opposing all his Leo planets. He's done. He's done. And um, I don't, he might finagle himself out, but I'm telling you, he's not going to, I don't think he'll make it very long. He's, I hate to say something like that, but this man is not taking responsibility. And as a result, this is the result. So I don't want to stay too long. I just had to say something. They said so long, it's a legal name. 
<laughs> yeah, right. I mean, right. You know, there is some issues here. This is all about legalities here. Right now, they're looking at it from the legal standpoint. And from the legal standpoint, oh, my gosh. He's dug himself in so deep. I mean, we'll need a... Sh a a steam shovel to pull him out. Like, there's so many lies. It's like lies on top of lies on top of lies on top of the hidden documents. Do you know they never got back all the documents out of his house? So th there's probably going to be even more indictments. They just called um, all the people. He gets no executive privilege. None. They took away all executive privilege um, that a lot of ex-presidents are afforded. But he gets none of that. All of his staff, all the people that have worked with him who might know his secrets, they know they have no executive privilege. So they're going to have to explain where the missing documents are. The nuclear codes. Oh, I want to scream. Who allows a who takes the nuclear codes? My brain. If you have not been keeping up on this, some of the places that I've been listening to online that I have, they have been right on the money. The Midas Touch, uh, what is it, Young Turks, um, there's a couple other, um, uh, of course, uh, you know, you can get what you can from MSNBC and CNN. But I'm telling you, this guy is really going down. But let's look at this from a uh, strategic standpoint shall we because i believe they did this strategically because him being a gemini i think he was using strategic or geminian methods because you know gemini's well you know they're known for being two-faced right that's what they do they are those people i hate to say it because my daughter's father was a gemini but anyway they have stacked this up against him in such a way that it's going to take years years if if at all if he can get out of it it's, there's so many different potential indictments that i it's just going to be like back to back now one person was saying oh they're white collar crimes or something like some of them are misdemeanors but then they someone reminded them that two misdemeanors is a felony so he's got <laughs> Even if they say they were misdemeanors, there are multiple misdemeanors. So we're talking felonies here. And not only that, I, I mean, I think he's going to get it for, um, you know, um, treason. I, I think he's going down for all of it. I really do. I don't, I do. And um, if you're a big fan of his, I, I, I you know, I'm... God bless you. Go pray. There was something that someone had said. Um, oh, they had said something like the liberals or the Democrats were trying to persecute him. And he was almost like he was on aligned with Jesus. First of all, that's blasphemy. Okay. Uh, in a big way, that's blasphemous to put him in the same sentence with Jesus. This guy who every single business that he had was shown to have fraud, like tax fraud, every single business, not just one, all of them. So even when, when those rulings came down a few months ago, I was saying to myself, how does everybody connected with one person end up going to jail or being indicted or the businesses uh, being fined if he himself is not guilty. So it's come out that every document, you guys listen to what I just said, every document from all of those businesses that have already been deemed illegal, had to, he was signed off on every document. He, DT, signed them. There, it's, this, this is over, you guys. This guy is going down. I'm telling you, we are we are dealing with a criminal. If anything, they're going to get him for something like they got Al Capone for. He has no executive privilege. He cannot hide behind anything like that anymore. So everything that he's done is going to be exposed and it's going to come to light. And it's not good, you guys. 
So I, I have seen some people still touting about Donald Trump. You guys, get a life. Go get some medical attention if you need it, because I think some of you guys have been brainwashed. So you might need to have that. <laughs> some people want to get in this live. I guess some people have some things to say. As long as you guys are positive and don't come at me because I'm just a messenger. I want people going live with me, but I, okay, I'm not saying nothing nobody else ain't saying because it is what it is. It is what it is. We can't fight it anymore. We can't fool ourselves anymore. We can't, unless you're Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Green. I mean, you, you can't. Okay, the reality is the reality. And a criminal is in the sights of the judicial system. And the judicial system is not going to be able to, he's not going to be protected. He's been calling out people like in the Supreme Court, calling them uh, names, I guess, because they have, you know, he's going to, he is getting indicted. He's indicted. So um, I'll keep up on this. I'll keep a, a better eye on where the planets are. But from what I saw a few years ago and where I talked about Donald Trump and I predicted that he was going to go to jail, there is no recourse. There is none. Someone wants to get in. I'm going to let them in. I don't know if they want to go live and what they're going to say, but I'll give her an invite. I like to get your opinion. I put a toll up. You guys, whoever can do the toll, do the toll. Uh, or told poll, so I can find out how you guys feel about this. And, you know, it's it's a situation that none of us have been through before, so you might be in mourning, and that's okay. I mean, some of you guys, uh, that might be the one president you voted for or didn't vote for, right? But I just want you guys to know this was, not ne this was never a good guy. I'm going to tell you one last thing, and then I've got a girl who wants to uh, do a meeting with me. i got to go. Um, years ago, I lived in New Jersey and when I was growing up in New Jersey as a young girl, I always heard about Donald Trump's criminal behavior. There were, um, people in my city that went bankrupt because they worked with Donald Trump's businesses and he was known for getting people to do projects with him and not pay them. In this case, there was like um, construction companies. They were going down because they were helping him to build Trump uh, Casino in, in Atlantic City. And I had a couple of friends whose family went bankrupt because he never paid them. Well, they, were going, they had a, a, a lawsuit against him. And what did he do? He filed bankruptcy. He didn't file bankruptcy one time. Donald Trump filed bankruptcy over, I think it was 10 times, if I'm not mistaken. And so no one in the Delaware Valley that I know of ever got paid from this guy. He was always a criminal. This was never not a criminal, which is why I never understood how he ever got elected into that position of president in the first place. And then even after he got elected, once we found out there was interference from the foreign nation, wasn't it like supposedly Russia or Ukraine or something like that, uh, put in all those false votes? Why didn't they depose him and have a runoff election? We should have stopped it and nipped it in the bud when we found out that the, the votes were not real. But this is the result of letting someone get away with doing way too much for way too long, and then they believe they're above the law, and this is what happens. Someone says, thank you, that's what I've been saying. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of us have seen it, but we just never thought anything or anyone would do anything about it. And I want to applaud the New York uh, uh, District Office for sticking with this and following through and doing this in spite of the threats and terrorist uh, attacks to their office. You know, they had sent an uh, envelope with white powder and, and all kind of stuff. Um, it, it takes a lot of courage to go after a former president with such huge indictment. And so um, just pray for all those witnesses and 
people and his ex-lawyer, Michael Cohen. I almost forgot his name there for a minute. Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen is, my gosh, the singing canary. If anybody can tell you what this guy is, it's going to be Michael Cohen. And Michael Cohen is not singing his praises. Neither is his niece. They know this man. And they have told us out of their mouths what's going on. Michael Cohen let us know. He was saying, how is Michael Cohen going to go to jail for something Trump did? And he's, Trump doesn't go to jail. I want you guys to stop and think about it. Almost everybody in his cabinet is either dead or in jail. Everybody connected with him in his businesses, all his businesses have been um, deemed as criminal enterprises. How is he not a criminal too? Someone said, hey, I sent a rose, my love. Thank you, blessings, blessings. Thank you for the roses. Thank you. And I got to tell you something. I This has been a journey for all of us. I feel like we all might need counseling after, after what we have experienced with this presidency and the length of time it's taken to try to get this man to be held accountable for anything that's been happening since 2000. I would say 2016. I mean, it's right away. I'm going to say one other thing. Hold on. <coughs> now, I want to address this. <clears throat> and you guys, excuse me, I was sick. My first live since being sick, by the way. So one of the things I wanted to say, and my music is giving me a cue to this almost time to go. Um, this guy has never been our president. I don't, I, my, my mind was always going back to that. I don't even know if that's what I was going to say. I was just, every time I think about that, that part just, it just trips me out that this guy really wasn't ever really our president, but managed to stay in there for four years and then tried to pull a coup and take over the country. And this, you know, the big lie theory, theory about Biden not being elected president. I know I didn't vote for Trump, so I know there are crazies out there that did, but I wasn't one of them. So when he says that, you know, uh, Biden's not president, I'm like, he might not be the best, but I definitely voted for Biden. I did not vote for Trump. And so, yeah, um, someone says, love you, cuz. Hey, cousin, my cousin's out there. Love you too, baby. So I wanted to just say something. I'm I like I said, I've got someone waiting for me. I gotta go. But you guys answer the poll if you see the poll. Would love to know how you feel about what is going on with the indictment. And I will go deeper into the astrological aspects of everything when I have more time. Okay. Much love to you. And I promise I'm gonna do your uh, cards or horoscopes or whatever when I come back. I just had to come and share this news because I predicted it. And I love it when I'm right, okay? I just love it whenever I'm right. I, I didn't just predict it, you guys. I predicted this years ago. And then I, 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 I re-upped on it several years back. So I n always knew he was going to be considered a traitor of this nation because of the stellium of planets he has in the 12th house of the American of, of America. We were a cancer nation. And he had planets falling in our 12th house. He was always a hidden enemy. Always. And with that, I bid you adieu. Much love. I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Much love to you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I never know how to end these things exactly right. Blessings, everybody. Blessings. Blessing.